Hey guys, welcome back to The Grind, and in today's video we'll be talking about the huge news of the Rust beta getting delayed, and finally why it's taking and has taken so long. But before we do, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and much more. Hit the bell too so that you don't miss out on any future videos, and with all of that out of the way, let's get on to the meat of the video. So we have been left in suspense for the whole year, wondering when the Rust console beta will be releasing. Well, we don't have to wonder anymore. It has been officially announced that the game game is getting delayed to 2021. Ugh, okay, I can't say I'm surprised, but it's still a shame. Loads of players have been waiting in anticipation, but they have to wait even longer to finally play one of, if not, the best survival games on their console. But just like the first announcement, we do not have a specific date when the game will be dropping, but all the speculation suggests that we may be getting it in the early quarter of 2021, which isn't too far away by any means. But like we say, this is just speculation. But I'm sure everyone is asking why on earth the game is being delayed? I mean, we can point to one of the most obvious reasons being COVID, this must have really halted the development process of the game massively, and that is likely one of the huge reasons that they are not meeting the 2020 deadline that they initially set for themselves. Side note, I have no idea if you guys could tell or not, I think it was quite obvious, but that entire little paragraph there I just I just recorded, I needed to burp for the entire thing, so I apologize for sounding weird there, but I'm not doing a retake. You get the first version, okay? Anyway, the game simply is not ready yet as we can presume. They probably want a perfect release and do not want to rush things. I mean, Remember Daisy when it first launched on console? Yikes, yeah, that was a very buggy game. I'm sure Gary Newman and co do not want to repeat what Daisy did all those years ago when it came to console. Now, another reason the game could be getting delayed is because of the next gen consoles they launched just about a month ago now, and well, that means more platforms they need to be getting the game working on, though this may not be a huge struggle if they decide to just run the game via backwards compatibility. But here's where the fun stuff starts showing up because on the new consoles, there's so much potential to unlock, so much power. Think about it 120fps, 4K resolution, insane loading time, so much good stuff. Rust on the next generation console could just be something really special. I do hope that the development team is taking their time and really making sure that they optimize the game and they take advantage of all these things. I mean, you all you have to do is look at the way Cyberpunk runs on next generation consoles. Like, come on, I want that. I mean, come on. Like, I'm sure CD Projekt Red will look at this and think, we should have done that. Maybe you guys could beat the next. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, as you can see, there are quite a number of factors that could be just contributing towards affecting the development of the game, and hence, it's getting delayed to the next year. This year now, goodbye 2020, hello 2021, thank god. But other than that, there are some very interesting developments when it comes to the game's console port, because firstly, the closed beta version which has been surfaced on the Xbox store, it's downloadable but you can't launch it. See, you need the developer authorization to access it, but you can still get updates for it and people that have actually downloaded it are able to see the updates in real time, cracking the thing and just, they're able to see what's happening, and there's a lot of stuff happening quite often as well. So that's really cool, this just shows that there is some progress being made and we are getting closer and closer to the actual game releasing. Now there's also been the Rust Companion app, they're being used via Face Punch instead of Steam. This may be a sign of cross-play with consoles, we, we, it would make sense, but this also shows that the game's release is a lot closer than we think. That's the type of thing you do when something is almost ready. At this point, the community is guessing that it's just some finishing touches that are left to do to get the game over the finishing line in a lot of consoles players' hands. They are probably just fixing some bugs and getting everything in working order just how they intended. This is a really huge launch for them and you can be sure that they do not want to mess this up. But that's it guys, when do you think Rust is coming to console? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. If you did enjoy it then make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Hit the bell too so that you don't miss out on any future videos and we'll catch you guys next time. Until then, take care and goodbye.